Welcome back to Wellfulness. My name is Ali and I'm really glad to have you here. Today I'm going to be talking about some, or giving you some amazing uh, self-discovery journal tips, which are all going to be fitness based. So self-discovery is a journey that many of us have found ourselves on <laughs> during this, um, this year, 2020, and everything that uh, COVID-19 has brought us and lockdown. Um, for many of us, it, it's felt like our lives have been put on hold and uh, potentially like we've lost control of our present and of our future. And, you know, maybe even that our lives have been thrown off course if we had big play plans. Um, you know, I was meant to go to Canada a couple of months ago and, you know, it's one of those bucket list trips I'd always wanted to do. You know one of those like before I die I must do this and I was talking to James earlier and I was saying you know that it was probably it was an experience that I would have remembered forever and it just hasn't been so you know on my deathbed it's probably one of those trips that I would think back on and remember um, and it just has disappeared into thin air so hopefully one day I'll get to go but right now it doesn't look like it's on the cards um, so, you know, many of us when faced with stuff like this and much bigger things like, you know, losing income, losing jobs, losing loved ones, losing our health. We've got a couple of friends who have really been impacted by um, contracting COVID-19 and the kind of physical impact of that has really taken its toll on their bodies. And I think we're all just looking a little bit deeper into ourselves, into life, into what we want from our life, what we believe in, what's important to us. And so it's no surprise then that self-discovery journal prompts have been one of the major trending um, themes on Pinterest this year, it's been announced. So I thought that I'd put together um, a list of journal prompts for you to, to give a go, to get your journal out and and just, um, you know, stream of consciousness, um, writing around these ideas, around these questions. And I really wanted to make them fitness based because for, for me and for James, um, you know, our we're really on this journey of self-discovery, of self-growth and long may it last, you know, I don't want it to ever, ever end um, because there's always something new to be found. And to be honest with you, the beginning of that for both of us started with fitness. Fitness and, and working out and showing up on a physical level every day is a really amazing way to start to, um, you know, work on yourself essentially. And there's been some really interesting studies around this as well. So, um, for example, um, a study in, where is it? In the International Journal of Sport and Psychology found that regular exercise over the course of six months had the power to increase self-confidence. So exercise increases our self-confidence um, and also it, you know, it's got massive self-resilience boosting um, properties or benefits um, because it has amazing positive effects on our mood and it can can also help us and um, this has also been found through studies psychological studies it's exercise has been found to help us reduce anxiety and reduce stress so through using exercise we can also build our self resilience so that's really important as well at the moment I think you know to to have resilience to get through this time is a really really important tool for us to cultivate and it can all begin with fitness you know so if we're thinking about you know all of the anxiety and uncertainty and for many of us depression that's coming up during this time um you know going to see a counselor can be really really helpful and i've i've done that in my in my life before but if that just seems a little bit too daunting or you don't think you're ready to do that yet, then just simply getting up in the morning, taking some time in the afternoon maybe to do some physical exercise, whether that's you know going for a run, doing some sprints, doing some yoga, um, a HIIT workout, whatever it is, you can start to increase your confidence start to manage your stress and anxiety and um, yeah, boost positive feelings of well-being as well. So that's why I wanted to center this, um, these journal prompts around fitness because I think it's a really great place for us to start if we're starting and beginning on this self-discovery and self 
self-growth journey. So with this in mind, try these self-discovery journal prompts around physical exercise to help build self-awareness, understanding confidence and resilience in our lives. So you can either head over to the blog post where these will be written down. I'll pop that into um, the caption or feel free to grab your journal now. You can pause the video or the podcast um, after I've said each question. Take as long as you need to journal around them. And, um, you know, I quite like to just allow myself to write. So don't think too much about what you're going to say. No one's going to see this. You don't have to get it right. There's no right or wrong. Just allow your thoughts stream of consciousness allow your thoughts just to kind of be like splayed out on the paper and um you know even if you don't read it back it can just be a really great way of um you know thinking deeply about about what these questions are bringing up for you so number one once you have finished your workout or your yoga your run whatever it is you're doing your physical exercise once you've finished how do you feel and try to name three emotions writing a sentence giving detail about what they feel like and why so once you've finished your workout how do you feel can you write down three emotions that you feel once you've worked out and give a little bit of detail around what they feel like and why you think that is so if you need to press pause now and write otherwise i'm going to go on so number two, what effect do these emotions have on the way that you think about yourself? So what effect do these emotions that you just wrote down, what effect do they have on the way that you think about yourself? So again, pause and write down your answer. Otherwise I'm going to, going to carry on. Number three, what effect do these emotions have on you for the rest of your day? So once you've done your workout, you've experienced these emotions afterwards, how does that affect the rest of your day? How do you feel for the rest of your day? Number four, what's your mindset like before you start exercising? So can you kind of take yourself back to before your workout, or maybe you've got a workout to do today. What's your mindset like before you work out? What's going on? What kind of thoughts, maybe what emotions are kind of coming up for you? What do you experience beforehand? And then number five, what's your mindset like after you've exercised? So again, what kind of thoughts do you have, maybe it's just a kind of sense of being, do you feel positive or negative? Um, just try and have a, a, give a bit more detail than that. But what's your mindset like after you've exercised? Number six, what have you gained since you started exercising on a physical level? So in terms of your body, in terms of your health, your physicality, what have you gained since you started exercising? And that could be going back to when you were a kid. Um, maybe you started exercising just last week. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can you share with yourself what you've gained on a physical level? And question number seven, or journal prompt num number seven, sorry. What have you lost on a physical level? So I want you to be honest here, um, you know, maybe maybe the obvious thing is kind of, you might have lost, lost weight. How does that make you feel? You know, so give a bit more detail around what, what that's been like for you, whether you see it as positive or negative. Um, but also, you know, include the things that, you know, you might have lost um, some kind of, you know, physical confidence if you had an injury. Um, you might have lost a bit of mobility or something. So being honest about that, you know, we don't have to sugarcoat coat this, we can be honest with ourselves. Equally, it might be really positive. <laughs> okay, so number eight, what have you gained since you started exercising on a mental and or spiritual level? 
So, you know, we're talking here about kind of mental state of mind. Um, you might have gained self-confidence. You might have gained, um, you know, a sense of um, greater awareness around your body. Um, especially if you're practicing yoga, that's definitely something that I've experienced. So what have you gained since you started exercising on a mental, spiritual level? And I would say that definitely body confidence kind of fits into this one as well. If you've had anything happen there for you. Number nine, what have you lost on a mental or spiritual level? So that might include also anything you've let go of. So any kind of beliefs about yourself that you might have let go of. Um, so for example, myself, I was bullied for being fat when I was younger and that really, really stayed with me. And for ages, I carried around with me this idea that I was the little fat dumpling girl and, and that's who I was in, to myself. And, you know, I, I really had to work through some some stuff I had to you know be on this journey for quite a long time before I started really taking in what I'd achieved and that helped me break through this kind of mental barrier that was keeping me stuck at a certain level um, to move past that and become the person who I really was rather than this idea of someone that you know had been given to me as a, as a child so this is a really powerful question I think what have you lost on a mental lost or let go of on a mental or spiritual level about yourself since you started exercising so number 10 what are your goals for the future physically mentally and spiritually and what do you hope to achieve or increase or get more of Number 11, what do you hope to let go of? So we're just thinking and writing about what we hope to get more of, what we hope to achieve. What do you hope to let go of in the future? So we can think back to um, that last question, what have we lost or what have we let go of so far on our fitness journey? Now's the question, what do you want to let go of in the future? What else do you want to let go of? What haven't you managed to let go of that you still want to let go of? And the last question, number 12, the last journal prompt for you. What can you do today to do this? So thinking about your goals, your the achievements that you still want to, to reach, the things that you still want to increase and get more of, and also the things that you want to let go of. What can you do today to take you on that first step to getting, to getting closer to those goals, to those achievements, to letting go of whatever it is you want to let go of? What can you do today? And this is a really important question because this is the one that gets us moving towards our future and our goals. So really get specific. And you might want to add on also, um, what can you do this week? What can you do this month? What can you do this year to help you get closer to that? So you might want to have a kind of day, week, month, year plan or steps, action points and try and get really specific around that. What can you do? Who can you ask to help you? Um, what can you, what experts can you reach out to? What kind of tools can you get your hands on? Are there any plans that you want to sign up to that you've been thinking about for a while that you think would actually help you get to that new goal or that new milestone or let go of that thing that you want to let go of? Are there any free downloads? So really getting specific about that question. So just pausing again one more time here and allowing yourself to kind of really get into that nice juicy question. Otherwise, um, I would love to share with you our one day wellness plan. It's our freebie that we're giving away. We've created it. James has done an amazing 25 minute workout that you can do it again and again. 
Um, we've got a nutrition plan that's got some really lovely recipes in there and some nice supplement ideas, um, some a nice bedtime drink to, to have before bed, something to have on waking, snacks in there as well, packed full of information. Um, there's a journal book other than this one, so a really specific journal book to help you stay motivated and move towards your goals every day. And you can again do that day in, day out. And there's two meditations. So meditations are an amazing way of staying focused, of keeping yourself motivated, of um, you know moving along on this journey of self-discovery, looking inwards. It's really important to take the time to you know, spend with yourself in meditation, I think is such an important tool for us to use. So there's two very short but lovely meditations. The first is a morning meditation with me for motivation. And the second is a bedtime bliss meditation to kind of help you wrap up your day and drift off to sleep in a really kind of um, blissful way without any of the kind of thoughts of the day <laughs> swirling around your head on a really positive note which I think is really important for us all at the moment to shift into this positive bias and away from this negative news bias that we've kind of all understandably slipped into so that's the one day wellness plan I've put the link to that in the caption so please go and check that out it's free and it's yours to use forever and we'd love for you to um, to have a look at it and let us know how you get on and if you want to do a free workout with James, if you're feeling inspired to go and work out right this second, then um, I'll put a link to his to a 10 minute hit workout with him, which is really good fun and kind of easy enough to slot into any any day or any schedule that you've got going on, even the busiest of days, just 10 minutes. So I'll put that in the caption too. Have a lovely day and I hope that you're feeling inspired and motivated and um, positive and moving along on your journey of self-discovery. 